Are you trying to fix up your resume to get a new job in education? Or maybe you're a career changer who worked in HR and now you want to become a teacher? Well, I'm going to show you how to use ChatGPT to make this so much easier. No tech skills required. Whether you are a novice at ChatGPT and have never used it before in your life, or if you've been using it, I'm going to show you a few things that you can do today that you may not know. Let's get started. All right, so there is no reason in the year of our Lord 2025 that you should be writing your resume from scratch. The organizations that you are turning your resume into to get that interview, they are using AI to sort through your resumes. Why not use AI to write your resume? Now, you're going to have to do a few things to get a really good output, a really good resume from ChatGPT, but I'm going to show you how to have ChatGPT help you do this task even when you've never done it before. Let's hop over to ChatGPT so I can show you what I mean. Okay, so this is ChatGPT. Now, this can be quite overwhelming. What can I help you with? Um, that's a loaded question. There are so many things we need help with, right? Today, we're gonna be focusing on a resume, but I want to tell you that you can say to ChatGPT, hey, I'm thinking about a project in X, Y, and Z. What do I need to do to make this project happen? Or can you map me a plan of action that I can use to then give you the inputs you need to give me a really good output, you can talk to chat GPT in this way. Very quickly, some quick vocab. This right here, this is an input. Whatever I write in here is an input. Can you explain an output? Chat GPT is like, all right, what's an output? Let me tell you what an output is. So it says here, input is a text you provide to the model. So whatever I do here, this is the input. The output is what ChatGPT generates for you. And you can see that it has generated this. Now, this is a very simple one. We're going to do a much more complicated one. Now, if we want to use ChatGPT, all we have to do is go to chatgpt.com or you can Google ChatGPT and it will bring you to it. So ChatGPT.com right here will get you there. A lot of people ask, how do I get this tool? Just type in ChatGPT.com and you will come to here. There's a free version. I am using a paid version, but the free version is just as good. Um, I pay for it because it makes my life easier and I wanna do other things, but what we're doing today can totally be done on the free version. Most anything can be done on the free version, okay? So let's say I'm brand new to ChatGPT and I'm trying to become a teacher. I'm going to go ahead and put this input here because I need help with my input. I write, I am working on a new teacher resume. Can you construct a prompt that I can give back to you so you can write me a resume? Please include all of the things I need to give you. For example, you probably need the job description, my current resume, et cetera. And this is important. Can you give me a set of questions I can answer that will make this even better? Okay, so I am asking ChatGPT to help me. I do this a lot now. I used to try to come up with my own prompts, but why? ChatGPT knows what it needs. It can help me build a better input. So I'm asking it to like, hey, I need a better input here. It says here, here's a reusable prompt template you can drop into ChatGPT whenever you want me to draft or polish your resume. And it gave me a template here. Now there's a couple ways in which you can do this. First, you can copy this. You can put it down here into your input and paste it. And then you can, in these little brackets, is what it wants you to put your information in, right? Job title, what are you going for? Um, name of the school, your your current position, all of that, right? Um, or, and see what happens is if you press enter, it sends it out, right? And it's kind of hard to work in here. What I do is I copy what it gives me. I go into an untitled document on Google Docs and I paste it in here so that I can then work in it without it sending to chat GPT. Cause the way chat GPT is set up, if you type something down here and hit enter, it sends it, which can get a little annoying cause you didn't mean for it to send. Here's another thing you can do. You can hold down shift and enter and it won't send. See what I'm doing here? Shift, enter, enter, right? But we're not doing that right now. We're going to kind of work in here for the actual prompt it gave me. So wherever I see these little brackets, um, I'm going to put something in here. Now, the next thing it did, it said, here are your enhancement questions. Because I asked it, can you give me a set of questions I can answer that will make this even better? This right here is something that I like to use for chat GPT and all AI models, because 
it's going to ask me the specific questions it needs in order to make an amazing resume. Let's have a look at those questions. So here it is, enhancement questions. Teaching credentials and certifications. What state do you have your teaching license in? What additional endorsements or certifications do you have? Classroom and instruction. What grades? How many students? Describe your teaching style. And it's got some, some examples here. Impact and achievements. Student growth. Have you ever increased grades you know, or, or achievement? Awards and recognition. Special projects. Did you do blended learning? Something like that. Technology. You know, do you use Desmos, Google Classroom, professional development? It's got all these questions here. Now you might say, God, that's a lot of work typing all of that in. You don't have to type that in. This little button here will allow you to dictate into ChatGPT. And all you have to do is go up here and say, okay, I am going to answer your enhancement questions now. Let's start with number one, teaching credentials and certifications. What state teaching licenses do I hold? I currently hold a license in the state of New Jersey for elementary education. I also have a reading endorsement and special education endorsement. Now let's go to number two, classroom and instruction. What subjects or grade levels have I taught? I have taught fifth grade, third grade, and second grade. I prefer fifth grade but I have taught English language arts, math, and social studies and science in the elementary ed classroom. I'm gonna go through and answer all these questions. It will decipher the ums and the uhs and hold on a second, let me think about that. You can just talk to it like a person and when you do, it will generate back to you a summary of what you did and it will use that input, that data to build your resume. Now you might say, well, this, these are teaching enhancement questions. I've never been a teacher. I worked in HR and I want to become a teacher or I'm a brand new student or a brand new graduate from the College of Education. What, what kind of questions should I have? Well, just ask ChatGPT for that. These are really good questions, but I have not taught before. I'm brand new. I am changing careers from a career in human resources. Can you change these questions so they reflect my current situation? I want to showcase my talents. I am in the middle of getting certified. So I do know a lot about teaching. I just not have not applied it yet to the classroom. Okay. So then it redid my prompt for me because the prompt is going to be a little different. Now here are my career changer enhancement questions. Notice that they are more geared towards someone who is changing careers. You can say, what are your core HR responsibilities? And when we dictate in, you can say my core HR responsibilities were onboarding new employees, working on training manuals, building training for new employees. And then you just go through all of these and dictate it in here. And it will decipher through all the uhs and the ums, or I don't really know the answer to this. And it will spit out a nice, succinct performance summary here based on all of your just talking into it. So easy. Okay. Then I went through and I answered all the questions and then it popped out this resume for me. And you can see, here's my header professional summary certifications. And it says, uh, teacher preparation expected December, 2025, 20, because I said into it, I'm working on an alternative teaching certification. I should be done by the end of 2025. And here is what I've already passed. I've passed my elementary ed. I'm still working on my PLT. You say that to ChatGPT, it'll put it in there. Teaching preparation, and then it put relevant experience. And then it did this one thing that I love, transferable skills. Based on the questions it asked me about HR, it gave me a little transferable skills section, which would be so helpful for a principal because I am an HR person, but storyboarding, assessment creation, feedback loop integration, adult learning models, data analysis, all of that is applicable to my job as a teacher. So it gave me this transferable skills. I love this little section. I didn't even think to bring that up. Then it goes through here. Um, and then I say, okay, this is great, but this has got a lot of space. If I copy and paste this into Word, it's going to be all crazy and I'm going to have to format it. Let's have a look at this. Can you put this in a format I can copy and paste into Word? So it gave me this one. It's more like pushed together without any of those lines and stuff. And then what it also gave me, I asked, there are some formatting issues with this. Can you give me this so it is formatted in six point between paragraphs and bullets and aligned properly for Word? Guess what it gave me? It gave me the resume formatted in a Word document. Let's have a look at that. And you can see when I download this, here it is, beautiful resume. It's got the right spacing. Notice the spacing here. If I go to format, I asked for six point spacing. There it is between paragraphs. 
nice and formatted properly for a Word document. You can, you know, ask ChatGPT to make it one page. I would prefer one page, but one and a half is okay. Nothing over that. Please don't submit three, four pages of resume. Nobody wants that. Notice my certifications and education are at the top. This is very important because the principal is going to want to know right away what you're certified in. It also has expected, like when I'm supposed to be graduating from the alternative certification program, that's going to help the principal make decisions. And everything is nice and bulleted. It is parallel. Everything works. And ChatGPT helped me do this. I did not do this myself. There are no spelling errors. You know, that's really important. This is something that's going to just help us be better and I did a lot of work to get here. I had a good prompt. I answered a ton of questions. I organized it in ChatGPT. And in turn, it gave me this beautiful output. So remember, even if you don't have the perfect input, even if you need help with the prompt, this is something you can do. Hey, ChatGPT, I'm trying to write a really awesome resume. I'm currently in HR, but I'm changing careers. I am almost done with my certification. I've take some, taken some courses. Can you give me an awesome prompt I can use then to give back to you for an awesome teaching resume? And can you generate some questions that will make it even better that I can answer so that you can generate this awesome prompt? You can even dictate that into here. You don't even have to write it. You can say, hey, ChatGPT, can you please help me write my resume? I am currently in an HR position and blah, 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 and put it in here and send it and it will do all of this for you. All right. So that is just a small snippet of what you can do in terms of searching for a job with chat GPT. The sky is the limit. Ask it questions, ask it to help you. And it will, there is no reason to be spending days and days and days on this task by doing it this way. You're going to get an even better resume like that transferable skills section. I never would have thought to put that in, but chat GPT knows to put that in because it is super smart. It knows knows all of the best practices, and it's going to help you build an awesome resume. So then you can focus on the interview. Hope this helps you today. Don't be afraid of it. Use it. Keep using it. Refine it. Remember, it's a thought partner. It can be your thought partner in helping you become an awesome human. Thank you so much and have a great day.